Tonight, a controversial closing in Norfolk. Last night, we told you about the announcement. Two restaurants, Tortilla West and Norfolk Chow, suddenly shutting their doors this weekend for good. Now we've learned the owner of Tortilla West is being sued by his business partner for more than a million dollars. Ten of your sides, Brett Hall, has been digging into this lawsuit tonight, and Brett joins us live outside one of those restaurants. And things have even been developing, Tom and Anita, since we last spoke because this restaurant that was supposed to close on Saturday locked up tonight at Tortilla West. Talked to people disappointed this wasn't open, says they all they first went over to Chow and were told the cook walked out and they wouldn't be serving any more food. There was a comedy show here tonight. People were excited. Lots of people are disappointed. So why? Well, it appears the answers are going to come out in a courtroom. We uh, heard from many, uh, as I was saying, disappointed people that come to these restaurants today, and it appears that all the cook and wait staff is going to have to find other jobs. These restaurants, again, closed suddenly. We've learned that one of the co-owners, John Boggs, has been sued. He's accused of embezzling hundreds of thousands of dollars. Between uh, 2013 and 2017, he is accused of taking more than $650,000, some of that money being diverted from another restaurant he co-owns, A.W. Shucks. That's in Norfolk off 22nd Street. That money has been, the lawsuit accuses some of that money went to help payroll at both Chow and T West. Now, there are several other accusations in there from the co-owner of A.W. Shucks that uh, Mr. Boggs used a company debit card improperly and used it going to casinos as well as paying for meals out in Las Vegas. And then also they accused that he used some money to put a down payment on his Ghent home that he was not supposed to. We actually did reach out to Mr. Boggs. We got him on the phone for a brief second. However, he hung up once we told him we were with 10 on your side. No word from either attorneys on both sides in this case. Just a lot of disappointed people and now people that need new jobs. We're going to continue to follow this. Reporting live in Norfolk, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.